Last time on The End of Time and Other Bothers. I'm Darcy. What's your name? Jill. And you have a bucket. Jill's head turns and you see dark black eyes. Shattering. Shattering. So to stop me, you're going to march on entire worlds and massacre everyone in them. Aren't you trying to end time? Ask Moira who created the bomb. We'll take the bucket. And I'll take this. What's happening? Ah! Holy hey, crackers. Jill. Hey, hello. Are you by any chance Jacqueline? Why do you have Jill's bucket? Uh-oh. Well, that's kind of our bucket now. Ah! You have to help me find Jill. One shall rise to claim his throne, and the earth shall be overthrown? Wait a second. Come on in, come in, close the door uh, behind you. Now, if you just climb that. into the cauldron. It seems I have an old dark character living within me. Yes. By the name of a. Yes, hey, her name! Mora! <laughs> Goo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I've tried being good. Let's get rid of Selene another way. We return to a story verse that is green in a meadow where we hear the soft sound of mosquitoes and bugs. And we come down on a sunny day, but with a cool breeze and the scent of trees and earth. And we see Egerton off in a distance by some trees talking to we're not sure what. And Darcy is nearby and Jacqueline is standing by, holding on to their bucket. Uh, Egerton, what what are you doing? Well, I was just having a conversation with the squirrel. He says that he thinks it'll take about three hours for the iced teas to charge, but the sparrow over here says probably only 20 minutes. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Yeah, okay, well, we could do that, or we can just turn the thing and push the button now. Hey, um, remember you, you said you were going to take me with you. We plan to take you with us, but we need our special devices to charge you see to go anywhere. Okay. Uh, how, how long is that going to take? Well, somewhere between 20 minutes and three hours, according to the local well, the, fauna. The, the frog over here that's sort of heading towards that pond, he said two weeks. But I don't know if I trust him because he's hippity hopping, And if something's hippity hopping, it's probably not going to be all that accurate, just generally as a rule. I'd be more inclined to go with the squirrel, but squirrels are also very forgetful. Egerton. Yes. Is he okay? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. So what I think we should do is just turn and just start pushing the button every five minutes or so and see what happens. I was just going to say, why don't you press the button? That's not a bad idea. Okay, Egerton. I'm going to press the button. Ready? Ready? Everyone ready? And Egerton disappears. Okay. What, what just happened? So it's working. That's the good news. I, I thought we were going to walk somewhere. The bad news is I don't know where he went. So what we're going to try and do is the same thing. And you just have to hold my hand. Okay. We're just going to disappear? Um, it's probably going to feel a little funny. It's nothing like walking or riding on a wagon. But don't get nervous. Uh, you'll be fine, and you'll be in a different place when you open your eyes. I'm not nervous. I'll do anything for Jill. Well, here we go then. So take my hand, and I'm just going to push this button, and here we go. The End of Time and Other Bothers, an improvised fantasy role-playing game set in the world of Alba Salix. Your game master is Sean Howard, with players Marisa King, Michael Howie, and Carter Siddle. Episode 19, Point of Contact. Everything goes to black. And you see Egerton frozen in half motion in the air, in the blackness, unmoving. And you suddenly realize that you can't move, Darcy. And it's hard to breathe. It's just the blackness pressing all around you. And you see floating, not too far ahead of you, 
what looks like Jill from the hill. Sort of as if you can see half through Jill and everyone is just frozen in the air. Is Jacqueline there? Yes, Jacqueline is beside you and eyes wide. You can move your eyes and maybe a little bit of muscle movement, but it's really hard as if as if all of the blackness is just pressing down on you as if you're at a deep pressure. And you feel half of Jill's voice and half of the Shattering's voice mixed together in your minds uh, as if strangely disconnected because Jill's lips aren't moving. There you are. We don't have long. Just think the thoughts you wish to communicate. I'm kind of hungry right now, and I needed to go to the bathroom before I left, but I forgot to do that. I probably should have done that before I went. How can I go to that the bathroom was a mistake. Void? I feel frozen, but I need to go. Does my bladder have muscles? We really I don't need to know what's happened works. to Jill. What have Where you done to Jill? What's going on? Where is this here? voice coming from? Okay, okay. enough. We don't, don't have long. I am going to give you both a device. When you are at a place of power, you can use it to summon a connection to me so that we may talk unheard. What is the place of power? It is a place of power. It is a place where the walls are lowered between worlds. Oh, that. I think what we're kind of asking is whether or not there's like a beacon on here or some kind of map. If there's a map with an X on it, one time I had a map with an X on it and I was you pretty good at finding it. You are being monitored, always. Right now we're being monitored? Even when not I was thinking about needing to- Now, be you are of- not being monitored. Oh. Take this. I can't. And Jill's hand slowly moves and you can feel Jacqueline's panic and as if Jacqueline, you can feel Jacqueline forcing themselves forward towards Jill. Will you let Jill come with us? And Jill disappears. And there's a something. Someone's going to tell me what it is. It's an apple. There's an apple coming towards you both in the blackness, getting clearer and clearer. And you're really having trouble moving anything on your bodies. I slowly open my mouth (laughs) with a great deal of will. Okay, can you please roll? Let's call this, uh, let's call this <laughs> Defy Danger Strength? Defy. <laughs> That's a five. <laughs> so the apple passes Egerton. It's coming towards you, Darcy. So I, with all my strength, I'm trying to reach both my hands out for it. So at least one of them grabs it, and I'm pushing and Pushing through the void. Please pull. Please roll plus strength. Two dice. Yep, and add your strength modifier. Also a zero. We're strong. The apple will just pass us by. <laughs> we'll be stuck here forever. That's a four. <laughs> okay, and it passes right through Darcy's arms, and. You sense Jacqueline moving their body. You hear almost like a a tendon ripping sound as Jacqueline gets a hand on the apple and time restores as a flash of lights, just like the normal transportation, but more disorienting now as all these realities collide and leave. And you are suddenly standing in the hallway of doors inside the Nexus or the uh, Academy of the Fallen. Ah, I missed it. Wait, wait, who? Oh, Jill. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. It's it's Jacqueline. Yes, Jacqueline. Sorry. Jacqueline is holding one arm, but in that hand is an apple. Good job getting the apple. Okay, hand that over. I will hold on to it. I'm a bit snacky. It was lucky they were with us. Now, Jacqueline, are you okay? You look like your shoulder's (sighs) hurting. Yeah, I I pulled something, but I'm okay. Do you want me to give the apple to... Give it to me, to me. I will take the apple. I will take the shiny red apple away from Egerton, who is hungry. Oh, fine. Jacqueline hands it to Darcy. This is a secret device that we have to keep safe. 
It's a sacred device uh, that looks like a tasty apple. <laughs> Write down you have a sacred apple device. Writing down sacred Also apple known device. as a Mac, too. <laughs> <laughs> so Jacqueline takes some. Can someone roll a, a 1d4 for me, the, the pyramid? It's, uh, yeah. Two. Okay. Thank you. Two damage on Jacqueline. Cool. Oh, you know what? We could call it a Mac. A magical apple controller. Oh. And then it's a Mac. Got it. Right? Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. Right. Winky, wink, wink. Knights are moving through this hall, sort of shoving the, you guys against the walls. And you see doors opening and two by two knights going, marching through these large doorways, coming in through other doors as the portals open and deposit them. And they'll, they're coming in groups. It's endless, just two by two knights coming and going in and out doors. And Jacqueline is just staring in amazement, like shaking a little. So, uh, Jacqueline, don't worry. This is our base of operations. This is where we come from, and uh, and this is where we're going to regroup and figure out how to get Jill back. And Jill was right there. I couldn't move. I couldn't get her. I, I, I know. I think she might have been possessed, and we've got to figure out what's going on before we can get her back. I want to go back. Which door? Which door do I take? Well, there isn't a door you could take right now. You just have to wait and sit down, and uh, would you like a cup of tea? A fairy cake, perhaps. Egerton makes very I good fairy cakes. I have fairy cakes here. Okay, let's see what we got. We got a blue one that's kind of cube-shaped. We've got a green one that's kind of decahedron shaped your most I've got relaxing my most, oh. one Egerton look I just want to get back the, to Jill I'm fine I'm good it's okay it's it's I call it the MK ultra cupcake here have one of these it's just little it's green it's got nice little red flecks in it have that is this safe it's it's, it's very good. safe it's all good okay and Jacqueline takes a bite roll for fairy cakes that Do you get is, a bonus uh an eight Okay, uh, so uh, uh, Marisa, give me what effect? What's a dizzy, it, drunk? Is this a negative effect? Yeah. Conf uh, no, she's already confused. That's boring. Um, irrationally angry. So Jacqueline bites down in the fairy cake and gets some hit points back. So roll the hit points for me. What were the hit points on that again? That's right on the move on your sheet. I'm sure it is. <laughs> You have one sheet. Darcy over here has 17 sheets. That's why I can't find the right one sheet. D yeah, well, I'm lazy, so. That's a 10. It's an eight. One. You get your bonus on that, plus wisdom. <laughs> plus wisdom two. is two. All right. So fully, you're rolling great. So Jacqueline bites down, gets two hit points back, and then you just see Jacqueline's features set, and Jacqueline spins on both of you. Stepping backwards. What have you done? What are you doing? Jill was right there. You, you're part of this. You, and Jacqueline brandishes the bucket, which yep. already has a dent on it that matches Egerton's head. I said the relaxing one, the relaxing so it, one. It took a dark turn. That happens sometimes. Oh. I don't always have control over it. Bring me back to the darkness with Jill now. Jacqueline, you have to listen to me. We can't do that. It doesn't work ah. that way. Roll defy danger. What's you can make an argument for strength or dex. I will Darcy. make an argument for whichever is my strongest, which is dex. So tell me what you're doing that wouldn't involve your dex. Okay, so I'm actually uh, hinging at my waist. I'm like lying backwards kind of thing. Like my bullet back time. Is, that's like, right, like bullet time okay. in the Matrix or something. Yeah. Okay, two D6, right? Plus your dex bonus. Yeah, which is huge. It's one. It's huge. Oh! Oh, that's a 12. That's a 13. Darcy just bends like a willow at the waist, dashing around the bucket in slow motion, just grazing over her nose. And Jacqueline's eyes going wide as Darcy comes right back up on the other side. And what do you do next? Well, I think, first of all, as I'm coming up, my left leg kicks the bucket out of her hand. It flies over, it lands right around Egerton's neck. It's just hanging there. And, uh, Darcy now has uh, Jacqueline in sort of a hug hold. Oh, let me go. What are you doing? Calm down, Jacqueline. <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. We're just going to take you to our room where you can lie down for a bit while we figure things out. Egerton, help me yeah. take okay. them to our room. Okay, but look, I can just put food in this and eat it without my no, hands. No, you will get food. I want food. my bucket back. You will get food I want, in a well, I've got the bucket right here. I the want okay. Jill's bucket. It's good. It's all good. We're all going to be calm. No one's going to panic. I've got a bucket. 
I'm really angry right now. I don't even know why. Sing the calming song, Egerton. The, the calming song. I will sing, sing it. Sing the calming song. Oh, calm, calm down. No clowns are eating you. Okay, make him stop. Be relaxed. Are you going to calm down? I'm calming down. Just please make him stop. Egerton, that... Elephants are your friends. That was your best version yet. Thank Thank you you. for that. Can I have Joe's bucket, please? Okay, I'm going to put the bucket around your neck now. You will note. Jacqueline just snatches the bucket. Okay, you've got it. Uh, but I would like to point out that the uh, around the neck feeding thing is technically mine. If you want to use it, I'm okay with that. But I'm not a asks, horse. Okay. Well, you don't need to call me names. All I'm saying is, okay, it's a great everyone. Way to, every- Jacqueline has yep. their bucket, yes. and I'm sure the fairy cake is going to wear off soon because I feel like this is related. So let's just take you to our room, okay? And I lead Jacqueline up the stairs to our room. But we are going to figure out how to get Jill. That's the first thing we're going to do. I okay. just have to talk to my compatriot here, Egerton, okay. and we're going to figure mm-hmm. it all mm-hmm. out. Okay. And which one of you has the other bucket? <laughs> There's another There's bucket. Another bucket. <laughs> you traded buckets with Jacqueline. So Jacqueline I'm, I has think Jill. I have it. Sure. Okay, cool. Technically, I'm the general and she's the lieutenant. So compatriot's not quite accurate. It's more of a boss employee type relationship. Yes, my liege. So you walk out on the second floor out of the, the, the doors, the hidden doors that lead to the hall. You came in at the second floor and you walk up, just so you know. You guys are on the third floor is where the dormitories are. But there are knights everywhere. The dormitories, except for yours, all the other dormitories are full. And knights are just marching up and down the hallways. The place smells different. It It smells like rooms that have been dusty forever that are now all being disturbed and kicked up. It smells like steel and rust and oiled pleather and armor and and sharpening oil. And there's just this constant din of noise, whereas before it was relatively quiet as knights in full armor are constantly clanging up and down the hallways and you find your dormitory. Excuse me, excuse, just, will you what? stop for, oh, they're everywhere. Just, okay, in in here, Jacqueline, into this room. I can't even hear myself think. You are not Coming authorized through. to stop. I, 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 uh, as general, I demand passage under the authority of the truncated Moira Act of 037B. You are not authorized to stop. I, I I've got a bucket. That we are, we are to- not stopping. We're going into this room. This is our residence. Thank you very much. Here we go. And I open the door and I usher us all in and then I close the door. Okay. And the room is relatively untouched. You see Blatt's cot still perfectly made as he always leaves it and all of his folded shirts. And you see Egerton's messy cot and everything. And the other, un- and Darcy, you see your cot and the other cots that are un- untouched. So I avoid looking at Blatt's cot and I uh, just guy Jacqueline over to mine and I say, just sit down, just give Egerton and me a moment. Okay. A lot has uh, changed here. We need to talk. Uh, actually, if you could go sit on that cot, this cot is technically where I, I dry fairy cakes. And We're going Blatt to leave Jacqueline on I, this cot okay. for the moment. I'm just saying that's not the purpose of that cot. That cot, your cot specifically is for the bazooka and for the sound of that elephant under the bed. Right now, it's for Jacqueline. Egerton, would you join me over here in the other corner of the room, please? I accept your invitation. Why, thank you, General. Egerton. Yeah. I'm having some concerns that maybe Moira isn't everything we thought she was. Yeah, she won't let me get in Anka's recipes. Okay. Clearly, let's, she's jealous. Let's of focus. My kitchen. Let's focus for a minute. I, I Everything is different here. There's nights everywhere. It's like she's preparing a huge army. And normally I would think, great, because that's going to finish this finally. And we can just go back where we came from. But then we have this voice telling us that maybe Moira has some really underhanded things going on. And now I don't know who to believe. And I'm just not sure we can trust her anymore. And who do we trust? Darcy. Yes. You're talking too much. You're right. I am. And I just, I need you to slow down. Okay. 
So what I think we should do is probably just go down to the kitchen and start baking. Because that always helps me kind of just sort out my thoughts and clear my mind and find a way to go forward with things. And then we can talk to Jacqueline. Oh, maybe Jacqueline has some. Do you think they have different recipes in, world, in their world? Egerton, let me put yeah. this in words you can understand. Okay. We might be the bad people right now. I don't We think might that's be the people no. who hate fairy cakes. What? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Um, and stomp on flowers. What? And cut down trees. Um, uh, um uh, 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 Dar- Darcy? Nothing's wrong over here, Jacqueline. Everything's wrong. Everything's fine. wrong. <laughs> no. No, but I, I, is this supposed to be happening? And you see over not too far from Blatt's Cot, this swirling black portal-like uh, opening in between worlds starting to open up. like, And you see th- sort of one of the cots sort of being pulled a little towards it and you feel a bit of a pull of air against you all. The uh, only time I've seen anything like this is when you would eat too much food. I've never seen this. And it's growing bigger and there's this pressure change. It's causing your ears to pop and you start to sort of see a vague outline as if there is someone or something there quite large on the other side of this portal trying to force through. And then the portal starts to shrink and then it gets bigger again in this swirling darkness. Uh, is this normal? I, I think you have to maybe realign the concept of normal now for yourself. Is it Jill? And uh, you see Jacqueline get up and start what? moving no, towards wait, the no, portal. No, Jacqueline, no. step away from the swirliness. I, but if it's, I, if it's Jill. I, I've got a telegram from Jill that says, Dear Jacqueline, how fondly I remember thee and miss you greatly. However, I am not in swirly black things of doom. Please do not look for me there. Always, Jacqueline. Uh, Jill. He He's asked- reading a fairy cake. <laughs> It's, what is it's, going on? I'm just, okay. So if you come over here, I'll show you that there's writing on it and it'll all make sense. Come here. And you hear alarms sounding distant in the building. That's that's also, that's just saying that it's time for our next class and get there quick because you don't want to get a tardy slip. Wait, wait, wait. And I pull out the apple and I try to talk to it. Darcy, it's an apple. He okay, said- so you- a lot's going on. You hear alarms. This this portal is like growing and shrinking in size. Like your ears are popping. As you pull out the apple, you notice that there's two halves. Like it's not quite connected. Yeah. Like they they turn the two halves. Okay. So I turn it to connect the two halves. Okay. Two things happen so quickly on top of each other. First the portal solidifies and you see a slod stumble forward that you recognized. Uh, looks maybe like Lasbo. So what I'm saying... And everything freezes. Everybody in the room just stops moving except for Darcy. You just see everyone frozen in this tableau. The sounds have halted. The portal isn't moving. And this blackness starts to pour out of the apple and rise up into a form. Ah, Darcy. You... Oh. You summoned me from within the Nexus? That might have been a mistake. I'm sorry, Darcy. I can't pass up this opportunity. I hope you understand. No. And the darkness shoots out through the doors, through the walls, into eight different forms and disappears, and time resumes. (laughs) It's the beginning of the middle of the end of time and other bothers. Hey everyone, Sean here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have a couple quick announcements, but I also, at first, want to give some shout outs to our most recent supporters. We're going to start doing that on every episode. So I want to give a super shout out to Rachel, Ryan, and Nada Beanie. Thank you so much for your support. It means everything for us and 
we can't wait to get more content out for you. Now, for all of you, I don't know what to call you, you legacy folks, that doesn't sound good. It sounds like you're like a Windows 95 user. Like all of you early adopters, the originals, the most amazing fans who have been with us for so long, we wanna give some shout outs to you as well. So we're gonna start working through our backlist. So today I wanna give a shout out to Paul Tedesco, Grace, and George. That's George Stankow. Thank you, Stankow, Stankow. I have no idea how to pronounce his name. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys so much. It means so much that you are still with us and supporting us and helping these shows come out. I also want to give a quick reminder that I'm going to be at PodFest. Uh, that is in Orlando, and it starts March 7th through the 9th, I think, something like that. And finally, rolling it out, there is a show that I would like to bring to everyone's attention. I have fallen in love with Fate and the Fable Maidens. This is an all-women, family-friendly, actual play D&D 5th edition podcast. Um, it's been created by these amazing women who I got to meet at... PodCon, and they are just as lovely in person as they are in the characters they play in their show. And I have to say, it's become one of my favorites. I love it. So give them a shout. Give them a shout. Give them a listen at Fate and the Fable Maidens. And you can find them at fatefmcast.com. Uh, great live play d and Love it. And that's it for the announcements. Let's get back to the show. Hello, welcome, Egerton. Um, please have a seat. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, I, can I sit here, or should yeah. I sit where? Well, what, no, well, should I sit on your lap? Or? No, no, no. Oh, that okay. would be inappropriate. Oh, inappropriate. Egerton, yeah. we've talked about that. And you sit on the sofa. The and sofa. I sit in this um, very tall, authoritarian-like chair. Is it all right if I call it a Chesterfield? Yes. Okay, I'll call it a Chesterfield. Okay. All right. Are you going to sit on it? Yeah. Okay, I'll sit down. Okay. okay. That's well. That's right. nice. So, uh, so yeah. It's very soft. So, how are things going? Oh, well, you know, <laughs> Blatt ran away and Darcy's drinking all the time and mm -hmm. Moira's trying to maybe, I don't know, end time herself and the Shattering mm -hmm. might be a nice guy, but then the Shattering kind of does some evil stuff and mm -hmm. I don't know, I just feel like I got to just- yeah. wait for me to ask you how you're feeling. Oh, right. That's the only job I have here. Right, right, right. Um, So how are you feeling? <sighs> So how does all that make you feel, Egerton? Well, it makes me feel kind of hungry. Mm -hmm. And how's that been going? The, the the rubber band, is that working or helping? Um, well, I kind of broke it um, because I was eating a fairy cake and I thought man, maybe I could hold two fairy cakes, like one in each hand, but still be able to use my fingers. So I took the elastic and I wrapped it around my palm to hold the fairy cake to it. And then when I bit the fairy cake, I bit the elastic and it fell off. Right. So it's okay that you're eating fairy cakes. Mm -hmm. um, are they maybe filling that void deep in your soul that makes you feel so anxious that we've talked about? Yes. Well, great. That's that's progress. All right, progress. You know what we should do? Celebrate. And I've got just the thing. Here, have a purple swirly. Well, no, you know, I really can't. Oh, office. you should, though. I mean, it's, 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 just, it's just wonderful. Oh, my God, Egerton. Uh, what a, you're just so amazing. I have, to, have I told you about how nervous I am with people? I don't <sighs> think that you're really nervous. I think. Really? I think. I think that you're just the best. Oh, and it's okay. no, no, I don't feel like the best. You are the best, though. Uh, you know, there's so many people on this Discord oh, no, thingy really? that keep talking about how amazing you are. Oh, but you're out there saving the world, Eggy. I, 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 I am. Oh, look at those am. little cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> what was in that cake? Whip cake. Oh, the fairy cake we ate. Oh, right. I'm supposed to. I've got a note here. I've got a sticky note. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, it it says, um, oh, I'll put a sticky note on you. Oh, <laughs> no, I can't read it. It's on my forehead. Oh, geez. Okay, no, wait. Okay, here, no, you, okay read, no. you read it. I'm reading it. You okay. read it. Oh, help us stay in fairy cakes by going to patreon.com slash Alba Salix. What's Alba Salix? I don't know, but you could probably just go to otherbothers.com if you wanted to skip all of those weird consonant vowel pairings. Yeah, let's have another one. All right, cakes. here's okay. This this is <laughs> yeah. Oh, this oh, is give me, give me, give me, give me. This oh, is me. a yellow oh. sprinkled. Oh. Oh. Cake. <laughs> it is 
Dude. if you come over here and Tell look, you I'll what? <sighs> what? <sighs> oh, hi, it's Lasbo. Lasbo! <laughs> oh, sorry, what's the claws? It's okay. How are you? Oh, I haven't seen you in so I'm long. Good. Oh, Darcy! Oh, it's good to see you both. How did you get here? Oh, I came through the portal. It was really scary. Did, but, did there, there was a portal at your tree? Oh, no. Mother Speckly wants me to bring you both a message. It's very important. Oh, that's nice of her. How is she doing? Well, she's doing really well, actually. That's well, actually good. not. See, the uh -oh. tree is going really dark again, and there's lightning. His, it, it, yeah, I, I don't want to sugarcoat it. That's not good, but you and know. And the alarms are sounding. Now you hear more alarms. You hear clanging knights running down the hall. You hear sounds of battle and screaming outside the room. It seems like I got to both at a bad time. Oh, no, it's fine. It's just a busy Tuesday afternoon here. So tell me about the tree. How is everyone doing? Did that Helen ever get into circle? I always thought that she was going to oh, have yes, a great Helen future. Helen circle. got in the circle. That's lovely to hear. Oh, but I need to give you the message. I was supposed to give it to you, Darcy. And I'm just staring blankly this whole time. And there's screams and shouting and alarms outside the door. I'm sorry, Lasbo. I think I might have just released the shattering in the Nexus. But I don't understand most of that. But, um, I was supposed to bring you. Uh, Mother Speckly needs you to come back to the Temple Idris. Oh, it's very be... important. It's about Blat, the, the oh. Chosen One. Uh, you might know him as the Chosen One. Blat, we haven't seen him in a while. You know, that's his bed right over there. <gasps> no. Yeah. Can, I, can you please yeah, show well, me you know what? where the Chosen Lasbo, One Lasbo, sleeps? Lasbo, yeah, you you should take one of these. This is a Blat shirt. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> My he name will go down. Helen will no longer be the name of all the slot children. What? Helen's the name of all the... What happens? Not anymore. Not when I bring this shirt back. Lasbo will be the name of every sandwich. That's... Why Why are the sandwiches all named Lasbo? It's a long story. But I'm supposed to bring you both back. Um, I can't do the portal, but I thought we could leave right away. Can we go through the portal too? No, the portal is closed. The, oh. the, the, no portal. Did you bring any sandwiches? Um, yes. Can I, I do. have? I, I, can I try a Lasbo? No, no, you can try a Helen. I, I don't know, it sounds kind of gross. That's all I have. Uh, okay, I'll take a Helen, I suppose. Egger tonight, I might have released the shattering. I, I let the voice in. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, Darcy. You were frozen, and the voice came in and seemed really self-satisfied that I'd let it in. Okay, we'll talk about that later. The right entire now. building shakes as this explosion feels like it just blew out one of the walls of the Academy of the Fallen. I don't know if this is related... But I think I've done something terrible, and I think that Lasbo has to be number two on our priority list right now. Did you now. put horseradish on the sandwiches? No. Because Look, that's... and I hold up this apple. I brought the apple <gasps> out. I thought this was the place of power the voice was talking about. Uh, Egerton, what are we going to do? Okay, let's... Jacqueline's like, uh, um, can someone please explain what's going on in the sudden... There's... There's like a battle, and what? What is? What is that? What is the large red? Jacqueline, thing? you're number three on the priority list. Well, that's Just kind a of minute. Rude, no, you Darcy. said Jill was number one. Uh, number one A. How about that? Okay. Egerton, what are we gonna do? M Wouldn't maybe we 1A need to. One A make her number one. Like, would that not be the first of the first? I don't know anymore. What if we make Jill one C? Okay, 1A is the sandwich. There's another explosion. You hear you hear screaming from outside. You hear the sounds of like, what sounds like sort of staccato and kind of popping sounds. And then you hear thuds of metal hitting the ground, giant suits. It sounds like right outside your door. I have to go see what's going on. I have to find out what I've done. And I swing the door open and, and look out into the hallway. And you see a knight 
turn, look at you, and then half of the night is just gone as the head topples and hits the ground, as this blast of dark energy shoots through and knocks out three or four other knights in the hall, and you hear yelling, and you see more knights coming out of doorways, and then there's an explosion in the hall, and you see the roof starting to come down on some of those knights. And I just turn back to Egerton and point my arm out to the hallway as if to say, you see? Oh, yeah, that's not good. No. Okay, okay, team, here's the plan. We proceed in cupcake formation. Oh, no. Like, there is a battle unlike anything you've ever felt happening in the halls, and it's now starting to move down a floor. Oh, they're moving away from us. Okay, so what we'll do is we're going to go left to the flank by the river. That's the thing that we, we were supposed to do last time. So we'll do that again. We'll take uh, 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 Lasbo and Jill. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. We'll take Lasbo and Jacqueline and flank left, no, cut stop. right. It's too what? late. I think it's too late. So the first thing I do is I do un unclasp the apple. So I, I detach it. Okay. I don't know if that does anything. Uh, nothing seems to happen. Okay, that didn't work. Egerton, I don't know if there's anything more we can do here. I don't know if we can salvage this. So you're at the end of the dormitory hall, and it sounds like the battle is now moving, and you see a few knights now running in formation past your door and down the stairs, down towards the second floor. We should try and find Moira. Yes. Moira will know what to do. Yes. Unless she's the reason this is happening. Very possibly, but which, I might be the reason this is happening. But don't say that about yourself. I think if you think positively, you'll see that, you know, you led with good intentions. Okay, okay. And, you can make me feel better later. Okay, okay, let's and go. And I shut the door on Lasbo and Jacqueline, and I grab Egerton, and we start running down the stairs towards the main floor. Oh, so you're leaving them in the room? Yes. Okay. That's an interesting choice you made tactically. Okay, so uh, Darcy slams the door and you just see a wide-eyed Jacqueline staring at this very large frog-like humanoid with claws for hands. And the two of you are in a hallway. There is, it smells of acid and smoke and death and rotting flesh and this strange ozone smell. And the roof is caved in behind you. There are bodies twitching on the ground, still half in armor, half not. And it's just utter destruction. There must be a hundred knights that are dead or dying in this hall. And you see the stairway in the distance going down. And of course it goes up to the roof and you hear more explosions. The, the, the whole building shakes under your feet and you know dust rains down on you from the floor below you as the battle continues. And alarms stop, but they don't stop suddenly. They just sort of do that slow dying as if they're just running out of power as you hear more explosions and more shouting and screaming from the second floor. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. We just have to find Moira. We just have to find Moira. Okay, if I, I were really, Moira, where would I be? I really hope we are on the bad side. This is the only way this is any good. Okay, so we run to Moira's office. The last Moira's place. office is on the first floor. You are on the third floor. We are running a, down. Okay, so you start coming down the stairs, and you just run into a wall of knights that are now backing up like backwards into you and they are throwing spears down in front and then you just see a, a wave of five of them just become disintegrated. They just disintegrate into dust as this blackness strikes them. And there's only now about 20 in front of you. They're all trying to retreat and back up, pushing into you. Oh. And you see another three go into dust in front of you. Run back up, run back up, wait, run wait, back no, up. We, we, we know the black thing, it's okay. Roll defy danger, both of you. You can use dex or strength, depending on how you sell. But tell me what can you're I use doing. Charisma? Tell me what you're doing before you roll okay, well, to get out of the way of this. It's now getting closer and closer. I'm. To you. I've turned around and I'm shoving Egerton back up the stairs. Okay, we just so came strength. down. Okay. Oh darn. <laughs> and, and I'm trying to like swim past her arms towards it because we met that thing. Okay. So first, Marisa, you're gonna roll. Okay. That's an eight plus, plus zero. Okay, eight. so partial success. All right, and Egerton, you're trying to fight her? Yeah, I'm trying to get past. I have a seven with a partial success. Okay, so um, 
So basically you guys are sort of stuck in position. You're half shoving. He's trying to get under you. Another row of three knights disappear. There were only six knights standing and they are pushing against you. And they, a couple of them turn and run, like leave you. And now there's like five knights between you and then another three disintegrate. What do you both do? Egerton, the knights can't take this. We have to get out of here. Come up the stairs, up okay, the stairs. Okay, we'll okay, go okay. through the portal. Oh, stop pulling on my ear. So we head up the stairs. Okay. Now to your left, as you hit the top of the stairs, is the little secret doors that lead to the hall of doorways. To your right is the room within which you have left your two friends. And the blackness is coming up the stairs. Another three knights drop. There's only two left. We have to go save Jacqueline Lasbo. Quick, back to the room, back to the room, back to the room. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we burst through the room again that we just left. Okay. You burst into the door and you see Jacqueline and Lasbo just sort of staring at each other, each sort of awkwardly staring at each other. And they both look really relieved when you burst in. Uh, badness, badness, lots of badness. Lasbo, will the portal work? Can we get through the portal? Uh, Maybe, I don't know. I'm just supposed to take you. Uh, Wait, I have a device. And he tries and he fumbles it. So I need you guys to roll Defy Danger to see if you can catch the device. If you see it leave his hand, his claws and start to go towards the ground and it looks like it's made of glass. I rolled a three. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna die. Uh, this is Dex then. Yeah. Come on, 12. Oh, that's an 11. So tell me how you catch this glass bauble that's so slipped out I of his claws. I dive from the doorway onto my stomach and I go sliding across the floor and my hand just catches it as it falls into it. Got oh, it! Oh, thank God, I almost dropped it. Yes, uh, you quick, did. Uh, uh, so, uh, quick, quick, use it, use it! Uh, how do I use it? Oh, throw it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I just (laughs) throw it onto the ground in front of me. And this black portal starts to form in the air uh, right where you drop it and starts to form and bubbling out, bubbling in, and you sort of see what might be a tree, uh, but it's sort of having trouble, and you hear another explosion shake the building. Okay, time to go. Through the portal, through the portal. What? Are you sure? Jacqueline, look, look, there's Jill in the portal. Quick. Jacqueline is through the portal. Jacqueline just leaps headfirst through the portal. We're all through the portal. Okay. Your senses start to come back in, and you realize you are face down in muck. Egerton, your head is under someone's leg. You're having trouble breathing in the water and the muck. There's a wind and a rain that is just tearing at you. It's like a hurricane, and you hear lightning striking, and it's very disorienting because it's so dark. And Glass was like, so, someone's, someone's on my, oh, I don't want to say what it is. <laughs> <sighs> oh, we made it. We made it. Get off Okay, me. there we go. Oh, well, I think you were kind of on me. But, oh, you, know. you were definitely on me. Uh. Oh, Jacqueline, Jacqueline, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. My bucket, oh, here's my bucket. And you are on the path, a path that you're on before. You see a fallen, very large tree limb that is now covered in some kind of growth. But in the darkness, it's hard to make out. But there does appear to be a very large black form ahead of you that might be what was Temple Idris or what's left of it. And lightning strikes suddenly and lights it all up. And you see that the the path that was all manicured when Blatt last saw it, I don't think you guys saw it that way, is now flooded and there's mud everywhere and you see the tree in the distance with the doors closed. This place has really gone downhill. Uh, Lasbo, Lasbo, what happened to the investments that you were discussing about upkeep and janitorial services? (laughs) And, And Lasbo stands up and is almost blown a few feet to the side by the gusts of wind and the rain is coming sideways. Like it hurts as it strikes your faces. There's been a small problem with the weather since the chosen one. Um, well, you'll see. Uh, the spec we want said, wait, wait, come. And okay, he starts okay. hunching down against the wind and moving forward down the path towards the door. And I follow him and grab Jacqueline's hand and pull them through the and weather. Egerton, the water is up to your thighs. Um, now, I'm not afraid of the water per se, 
but there are many things in the water that could potentially try and consume me and I'd prefer if they not so Darcy do you think maybe it'd be okay if just this one time I kind of got to piggyback just fine come awesome. on get okay. up okay, here we go uh, and, uh, there we go all okay right. onward oh boy here, do you, do you want me to steer? No, are you okay? are you, I'm no? fine. Okay, but I can just, you know, I can give you a little, like... Just be quiet. I'm being quiet. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll give you a little... Ugh. In this side, you'll go faster. And I start trotting along just so I can yeah, get see, him off quickly. Just, just, there you go. Okay. We cut to inside the Temple Idris. The door is slammed shut by three slod, and you guys are drenched. Everyone is just, there's water everywhere. You are just... You're, it's like you went swimming, and you see that inside in the there's there's lamps lit, and aside from the lightning striking up and the rain that's working through the repairs in the top of the tree, you see that it's relatively orderly. You see a young woman with white skin um, and dark hair coming forward with her hood up. Um, welcome, welcome. Um, how may I? Oh, Lasbo. Yes, I bought them right away from Mother Beckley. I see. And you are? Uh, I'm Darcy. Ah, uh, Darcy, welcome. Please let him. C- come, come, let us get you a change of clothes. And you must be. I'm General Egerton. I lead this troop, and I am here to receive word from Mother Speckley about yes, the status yes. of. Lasbo will friend get you Blatt, some dry clothes. And, and we are here this to is. Get Jacqueline. And he will right, save so. The world. You two come with then me, we and we'll get you into dry clothes and into see Speckley right away. And I drop Egerton on the oh, ground. Oh. We cut to the the three of you in white robes, and you are being led back into the main hall where the dais was that a certain individual got trapped under, Darcy. And you see... A another person in a white robe, um, rather young, uh, fit with frizzled, light-colored hair, uh, and she has when she turns this hawk nose, but it's the eyes that capture you. They're they belie this intensity because they they hold your gaze for a millisecond, but then they dance over your entire form as if cataloging all about you. And the priestess who is leading you up um, turns and returns to her duties and Lasbo is no longer here so I don't have to do the voice and at this point I'm I'm just pacing back and forth frantically just completely uh, outside of myself my robe's a bit long does anyone happen to have like a sewing kit because I'm dragging it and I feel like I'm gonna not only just sort of like make a lot of mess on the actual okay, robe someone, itself. Okay, someone has to tell us but, why we're here because I might have just destroyed the place we came from and I don't really have time for this. So why are we here? What's going on? Who are you? Oh, I'm Mother Speckley. You must be Darcy. I am. And you seem very upset, Darcy. Yes, I I, I, I might have invited the Shattering into the Academy of the Fallen. I mean, it might really be fallen, like really fallen right now. And and I don't know what we're doing here. And I, I, I just don't know. You should, you should talk to General Egerton no. right now. I understand 100%. And she makes a gesture and the dais starts to pull back and you see a few slod pushing it back. She goes, we won't tell you at all, Darcy. Come. And she just starts going down the stairs, Isn't down the that, hall. Isn't uh, that where, you know, that thing happened to you I that time? I don't like and... it down there. Do we have to go down there? I'm afraid so. Okay, and she's can... now halfway down <sighs> This time stairs. maybe just, you know, stay calm because the last time with the spiky things was kind of gross. She stops. You if you wish, we could stop and talk, but I am no. attempting. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Okay. We're going. We're and going. I follow her. Come along, Jacqueline. Oh, okay. Uh, so Mother Speckley leads you down the hall past where your event happened um, to the very end to a round circular room that is in the heart of the tree. And she stops at the doorway. If you please all remove your footwear. Um, well, I, I kind of like wearing shoes. I've, I'm sorry, remove but them. I'm just, I've got now, a toenail thing. Take them thing. off. Okay, take I just, them off. Don't look. Don't take look. It off. Okay, okay, everyone just. And so I take my shoes Or if off. we wish. Egerton, we could talk about your refusal to deal with your real emotions. Well, I, or you could well, just take your shoes oh, off. I'm going to take off my shoes. you have anything to eat? Yes, after. Oh. 
come. And she steps forward and you see a circle that's sort of center of the room and the, the moonlight from above is hitting it even though there's a storm outside. And it first looks like it's made out of granite, but then it sort of glitches. You see it just like distort and it's like, almost like you saw something, like a darkness, a figure with wings. And then it goes back to marble. I'm not sure how much I can or should tell you, but something is wrong, very wrong, and our primary mission is to support the Chosen One. This has been happening for some time. If you'll just stand here a moment and it glitches again and you see destruction and there's screams, but it's different, and you see a very familiar looking profile of Blatt and then it's gone. That was a picture of Blatt. Did you see that? Yes. What? What's going on with Blatt? What's happening? These aren't pictures. These are what is happening right now. What? What is happening? Is he okay? Blatt may have. Blatt may have done more than just upset one goddess. Oh boy. That checks out. Yep. I'm worried. And then the pool goes clear. And what do we see, Carter? Blatt surrounded by darkness, flying up out of the forest that surrounds the tree, looking determined. And beneath Blatt, as he leaves the frame, you see a village on fire. The End of Time and Other Bothers, an improvised fantasy role-playing game set in the world of Alba Salix. Your game master is Sean Howard, with players Carter Siddle, Michael Howie, and Marisa King. Dialogue editing and transcription by Michael Howie. Additional material and sound design by Eli McElveen. Story consultant, Laura Packer. Game consultant, Stephen Smith. If you enjoy the show, check out our Patreon. Supporters get early access to episodes, weekly bonus content, and an invite to our wonderful fan community on Discord. Look for the Patreon link at otherbothers.com. So there's a giant frog monster in here with me. Is that all right? (laughs) There's a reason that I'm the general. All I see from Sean is looks up, mm, this is all ending now. <laughs> Everything's over. And that's the end of the show, folks. Thanks for tuning in.